Man, what a week. So much to do today. Gotta get this video done. Oh, my head! Yep, something is definitely wrong. Today I'm gonna to show you how to do an easy double vision effect in DaVinci Resolve. But first, how many fingers am I holding up? So lately I've been rewatching the entire series of House, which is my one of my all time favorite shows ever. And a few of the episodes have given me some ideas for some cool effects that I might be able to teach you guys. And today is one of those. I'm gonna show you how to do a double vision effect in DaVinci Resolve. And most of this can actually be done right from within the edit page. The fusion part's completely optional, but it will bring the effect to kind of a new level of awesomeness. So I would stick around for that. Now, another DaVinci Resolve tutorial guy, that modern dude, he actually created a very similar effect that's really good if there's a significant amount of motion in your videos. But if it's like something that you just watched in the beginning of this video where nothing's really moving, then the method that I'm about to show you might actually work out better. So with that being said, let's jump into DaVinci Resolve and learn how to build out this effect. All right, let's do this. We're in the edit page in DaVinci Resolve. I've got a clip lined up and ready to go. And if you look at this when I play it back, everything's in focus, everything's normal. I haven't done anything to this clip except for color grading. And that's actually really important before you get into this, before you start putting the effect together, you wanna do any color correcting, any grading, anything like that, because if you wait until after you put this effect together, it's gonna mess everything up. And once that's all said and done, making this effect is really, really easy. The first thing we're gonna do is copy this clip. So let's go ahead and hold down Alt on our keyboard and drag our clip up to a new video track. And making sure that that clip is selected, let's go ahead and move over to where my hand is showing. We're gonna go over to the inspector and we're gonna drop the opacity to 50. And then we're gonna come down to position and we're just gonna drag this in either direction so we get a nice double vision effect. And you can stop there, but there's actually something in Fusion that you can do that brings us to a whole new level. So let's go ahead and select both of these clips. We're gonna right click. We're gonna hit new compound clip. Let's call this double vision, hit create. And then we're gonna right click on our compound clip. We're gonna select new fusion clip. And the reason why we wanna turn this into a compound clip first is because for some reason, if you just turn those two clips into a fusion clip right off the bat, it takes away that double vision effect. It lines everything back up and I don't want that. And once we've got our fusion clip ready to go, let's go ahead and select that and we'll move over to the fusion page. And all we're gonna do in the fusion page is add a little bit of a prism blur. So let's go ahead and make sure media in is selected. We're gonna hit shift space, type in prism, select prism blur and hit add. And then you can play around with the prism blur as much as you want. Let's go over to the inspector. I'm gonna bring that blur strength down. I'm gonna increase the aberration distance a little bit and the aberration strength. And now if I play that back, you'll see not only do we have double vision, but we've got this really cool prism RGB thing going on that makes it look like I've got something seriously, seriously wrong with me. Now, like I said, most of this effect, the main part of this effect can be done right from within the edit page. And if you wanna learn another pretty cool effect that you can do without going into Fusion, make sure you check out this video right here. And if you found this useful and you wanna learn more about video editing, camera gear, and how to make better videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, thanks for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next video. Go watch it now.